The next generation standard that we are going to focus on today is 5th grade Earth and Space Sciences 1-2. Represent data in graphical displays to reveal patterns of daily changes in length and direction of shadows. We will do this by creating a model to represent the sun during different parts of the day. Students will shine light onto a figurine at different angles, which will represent sunrise, mid-morning, noon, afternoon, and sunset. They will observe and record how the shadows change in length and direction and then analyze their results. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the materials you'll need for this experiment. Each group will need a protractor that's been copied onto cardstock and cut out around the edges, a ruler, tape, a flashlight, the shadow tracker also copied onto cardstock, and most importantly the figurine that you will be measuring the shadow of. Here I have a Lego man, a minion figurine, and also a cheaper alternative which is a binder clip with the edges sticking up. Now let's set up your experiment. First, you need to put the protractor along the edge of the line on the shadow tracker, lining up this center line with the dot that's on the paper and taping it into place. You can either have a student hold the protractor at 90 degrees or you can actually cut along this semicircle up to the center line and create a little kickstand that will hold it up for you. Next, you'll need to put the figurine or binder clip into the middle of the box that's in front of the protractor. I'm going to use the minion. Now, the figurine that you use is not important. What is important is that ahead of time you check that when you shine the light at 30 degrees, the shadow is not going off of the paper. If it is going off of the paper, then you should choose a shorter object. After that, you will hold the flashlight at the edge of the protractor at a 30 degree angle and shine light onto the figurine or binder clip. Another student should draw a mark at the furthest point that the shadow reaches and then label that mark 30 degrees. Students should then record the direction of the shadow from the minion using the compass that's printed on the front of the shadow tracker. So from the minion, it's directly to the west. So I will write west into the data table. Next, the student should move the minion and measure from the shadow mark to the edge of the box. And I have 12.2 centimeters, so I'll write that under the length of the shadow. Students should replace the figurine into the box and then repeat the steps that they did with 30 degrees at 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 120 degrees, and 150 degrees. If you would like the worksheets that go along with this experiment, they are available at my Teachers Pay Teachers website and include the shadow tracker page, the printable protractor, student classwork, lab data tables and graphs, extra practice pages, and an exit ticket. This resource also includes an optional lab for students to go outside and measure their own shadows at different times of the day. Thank you for watching.